Hydraulic head or piezometric head is a specific measurement of liquid pressure above a geodetic datum. It is usually measured as a liquid surface elevation, expressed in units of length, at the entrance of a piezometer. In an aquifer, it can be calculated from the depth to water in a piezometric well, and given information of the piezometer's elevation and screen depth. Hydraulic head can similarly be measured in a column of water using a standpipe piezometer by measuring the height of the water surface in the tube relative to a common datum. The hydraulic head can be used to determine a hydraulic gradient between two or more points. Head in fluid dynamics In fluid dynamics, head is a concept that relates the energy in an incompressible fluid to the height of an equivalent static column of that fluid. From Bernoulli's principle, the total energy at a given point in a fluid is the energy associated with the movement of the fluid, plus energy from pressure in the fluid, plus energy from the height of the fluid relative to an arbitrary datum. Head is expressed in units of height such as meters or feet. The static head of a pump is the maximum height it can deliver. The capability of the pump at a certain rpm can be read from its QH curve. Head is equal to the fluid's energy per unit weight. Head is useful in specifying centrifugal pumps because their pumping characteristics tend to be independent of the fluid's density. There are four types of head used to calculate the total head in and out of the pump. Velocity head is due to the bulk motion of a fluid. Elevation head is due to the fluid's weight, the gravitational force acting on a column of fluid. Pressure head is due to the static pressure, the internal molecular motion of a fluid that exerts a force on its container. Resistance head is due to the frictional forces acting against a fluid's motion by the container. Components of hydraulic head A mass free falling from an elevation will reach a speed, when arriving at elevation z equals zero, or when we rearrange it as a head, where, is the acceleration due to gravity, the term is called the velocity head, expressed as a length measurement. In a flowing fluid, it represents the energy of the fluid due to its bulk motion. The total hydraulic head of a fluid is composed of pressure head and elevation head. The pressure head is the equivalent gauge pressure of a column of water at the base of the piezometer, and the elevation head is the relative potential energy in terms of an elevation. The head equation, a simplified form of the Bernoulli principle for incompressible fluids, can be expressed as where is the hydraulic head, also known as the piezometric head, is the pressure head in terms of the elevation difference of the water column relative to the piezometer bottom, and, is the elevation at the piezometer bottom, in an example with a 400 m deep piezometer, with an elevation of 1000 m, and a depth to water of 100 m, z equals 600 m, i equals 300 m, and h equals 900 m. The pressure head can be expressed as, where, is the gauge pressure, is the unit weight of water, is the density of the water, and, is the gravitational acceleration, fresh water head, the pressure head is dependent on the density of water, which can vary depending on both the temperature and chemical composition. This means that the hydraulic head calculation is dependent on the density of the water within the piezometer. If one or more hydraulic head measurements are to be compared, they need to be standardized, usually to their fresh water head, which can be calculated as where is the fresh water head, and, is the density of fresh water, hydraulic gradient, the hydraulic gradient is a vector gradient between two or more hydraulic head measurements over the length of the flow path. For ground water, it is also called the Darcy slope, since it determines the quantity of a Darcy flux or discharge. It also has applications in open channel flow where it can be used to determine whether a reach is gaining or losing energy. A dimensionless hydraulic gradient can be calculated between two points with known head values as where is the hydraulic gradient, is the difference between two hydraulic heads, and is the flow path length between the two piezometers. The hydraulic gradient can be expressed in vector notation using the DEL operator. This requires a hydraulic head field, which can only be practically obtained from a numerical model such as mod flow for groundwater or standard step or HECRAS for open channels. In Cartesian coordinates, this can be expressed as This vector describes the direction of the groundwater flow, where negative values indicate flow along the dimension, 
and zero indicates no flow. As with any other example in physics, energy must flow from high to low, which is why the flow is in the negative gradient. This vector can be used in conjunction with Darcy's law and a tensor of hydraulic conductivity to determine the flux of water in three dimensions. Hydraulic head in groundwater, the distribution of hydraulic head through an aquifer determines where groundwater will flow. In a hydrostatic example, where the hydraulic head is constant, there is no flow. However, if there is a difference in hydraulic head from the top to bottom due to draining from the bottom, the water will flow downward, due to the difference in head, also called the hydraulic gradient. Atmospheric pressure, even though it is convention to use gauge pressure in the calculation of hydraulic head, it is more correct to use total pressure, since this is truly what drives groundwater flow. Often detailed observations of barometric pressure are not available at each well through time, so this is often disregarded. The effects of changes in atmospheric pressure upon water levels observed in wells has been known for many years. The effect is a direct one, an increase in atmospheric pressure is an increase in load on the water in the aquifer, which increases the depth to water. Pascal first qualitatively observed these effects in the 17th century, and they were more rigorously described by the soil physicist Edgar Buckingham, using airflow models in 1907. Head loss, in any real moving fluid, energy is dissipated due to friction. Turbulence dissipates even more energy for high Reynolds number flows. This dissipation, called head loss, is divided into two main categories, major losses associated with energy loss per length of pipe, and minor losses associated with bends, fittings, valves, etc. The most common equation used to calculate major head losses is the darcy euro weierstrass equation. Older, more empirical approaches are the Hazen-Williams equation and the Brony equation. For relatively short pipe systems, with a relatively large number of bends and fittings, minor losses can easily exceed major losses. In design, minor losses are usually estimated from tables using coefficients or a simpler and less accurate reduction of minor losses to equivalent length of pipe. Analogues to other fields, hydraulic head is a measure of energy, and has many analogues in physics and chemistry, where the same mathematical principles and rules apply. Hydraulic head is analogous to magnetic monopole, electric charge, heat, concentration. A continuous field of hydraulic heads is analogous to an electric field, a magnetic field. Similar differential operators can be applied to the fields to find the gradient or the direction of flow, the divergence of flow, the curl or if the field is rotating. See also, border euro carnot equation, total dynamic head, notes, A. B. Mully, Raymond, flow of industrial fluids, theory and equations, CRC Press, ISBN A0849327679 410 pages. See pages 43 euro 44. A. B. Chanson, Hubert, Hydraulics of Open Channel Flow, An Introduction, Butterworth the Euro Heinemann, ISBN A0750659785, 650 pages. See pages 22. References, Bear, J. 1972. Dynamics of Fluids in Porous Media, Dover. ISBN 0-486-65675-6. For other references which discuss hydraulic head in the context of hydrogeology, See that pages further reading section.